And today's lesson, God willing, we're going to talk about long and short English vowels. One of the challenging parts about learning to read and write in English is that one letter can make different sounds depending on its context. Vowels, which are generally understood as letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes W and Y, are particularly complex. Each vowel has at least two possible sounds can make short vowel sounds and long vowel sounds. The English vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, and sometimes W and Y. The letter Y is sometimes considered a vowel because it sounds like a vowel sound. So it's pronounced as if it were A as in say and they, as if it were E as in P as if it were I, as in sky and I, and as if it were a short I sound, as in dim. Finally, as if it were a, as in funny and money. Similarly, the letter W is sometimes considered a vowel because it sounds like a vowel sound. So it's pronounced as if it were O, oh, as in bro, and as if it were long U, as in guru and as if it were long O, as in grow. Finally, as if it were ow, as in sage, as in, as in now. Short vowel seven and long vowel sound. Short vowel sound can be simply defined as the vowel doesn't say its name. But the long vowel sound can be simply defined as the vowel says its name. So, short a sound Fat, long A sound, fate, wet, wheat, set, side, not or not, note, cut, cute, shut, Shoot. A long vowel sound is the same as its name. The most common sound for each vowel is its short sound. The short vowel sounds cannot occur at the end of a syllable or word in English. They must be followed by a consonant. A double consonant letters, double F, double S, double O, double Z, 
etc., usually indicate that the vowel before it is a short vowel. For example, it's not an open syllable. It ends with a consonant. A stuff, less, tell, but. The long vowel sound of the vowels may be long vowels. Eat, moon, all, art. Or death form. Someone made up of two vowel sounds, but they glide together to make one sound. For example, eight, eyes, own, use, or use as a noun, cow, dia, where, few. Or death form. Someone made up of three vowel sounds. But they glide together to make one sound. For example, five. There is both a long and short sound to double L. The long sound food, the short sound foot. Short and long. Un, men, men. Men's echo tick is a rule. In nearly all one syllable words that have a certain vowel followed by one or more consonant, the sound vowel will have a short vowel sound. It's also known as a closed syllable. Add, egg, l, of, summer. When the vowel is followed by two identical consonants or double consonants, doubling a consonant can be called protecting a short vowel because it prevents an incoming vowel from getting close enough to the first one to change a sound from sure to long. For example, made, mad, but, mother. So, made, made, mother. So, made, made, but, mother. Dying, but diner. So, dine and diner, but dinner. Back, neck, sick, knock, duck. When the vowel is followed by the digraph seeker. Branch, bench, wretch, conch, much, catch, fetch, ditch, potch, dutch, natural, adventure, picture, posture, culture, action, mention, fiction, option, function, majesty, enjoy, enjoy, Object or object, subject or subject, adjust, bad, ledge, bridge, dodge, judge, flange, college, hinge, plunge. Here is a word. When the vowel is followed by check or j. Sang, sang, song, sang, gen sang. When the vowel is followed by the digraph in G. Head, dead, said, bread, dread, 
death spread stead tread thread threat bread the bars and lit as a noun a consonant or more followed by two vowels followed by a single consonant Let's move on to talk about long vowel sound. Go, B, I, sky, high. Here is a rule. When a word or syllable has one vowel and it comes at the end of the word or syllable, exception, do and to. May me die go rescue no say so when two vowels are next to each other the first vowel is pronounced with a low vowel sound which is the sound of the name of the letter and the second vowel is silent here we have an old rhyme for children it says when two vowels go walking the furrow does the turkey these are often called vowel teeth three hate feet high note use or use flute when a syllable ends in a silent T, the silent T is a signal that the vowel in front of it is long. This is often called the magic E, marker E, silent E, or the fossil E. It causes the preceding vowel to be long. Sign, sign, there's a rule. I, G, H, and I, G, H, C, T are usually long. I, and silent, G, H. Bind and bold. The vowel I and O have the long vowel sound when followed by two or more consonants. Table, Melpole, Bipole, Sheeple, Rupole, Section, Triple. Consonant plus in the E gives long vowel sound for pupil. Meet, Vacuum. Here's our When there are two identical vowels, the vowel makes a slow sound, with the exception of the double O as in book or cool. Generalization. If you hear one syllable word with a short vowel sound net, followed by a K sound, there is a good chance that the K sound will be spelled by C K. But if we have long vowel sound, so the sound is pure K. For example, if we wrote back versus bake here, back short vowel sound but bake a here is long vowel sound so we wrote letter k following this rule to pronounce words well word most of the time using a to guide your spelling 
will have only limited usefulness, but it will help you get a better feel of the English language. Many thanks for giving me your precious time. Till we meet again, I wish you all the best and God bless you. Bye-bye.